We're in the Roadshow Kitchen this morning. We are talk talking taste trekkers with Chef Sesson from Los Andes Restaurant. We're making Trio de Ceviche. Correct, my friend. So you are back. Taste trekkers is what we're talking about, not right. necessarily the restaurant. We're going to get Correct. into that because that alone is a great, great event that's going to be happening. Correct. This yeah. is event is going to take place in the month of September. It's yeah. a three-day event starting on the 20th, ending on the 23rd. Uh, I mean, the, we have a great cocktail reception at the Dorrance on uh, Friday. Mm -hmm. uh, then it's going to be followed on Saturday the 21st uh, at the Biltmore. Uh, we have Chef Matt Jennings who's going to be holding a session. He's going to be discussing from uh, cuisines from different regions. Then at the Pavilion Inn, we have a... Uh, a great meeting with all, all chefs from the city. Right. Uh, we have wine tasters, uh, distillers, distributors. So I mean, if you're in, if if you enjoy dining and wine and great food, correct. That is the place. That's the thing you're to do. You're gonna go right behind the scenes and and see how everything's made. Get to meet the chefs. Get to meet the distributors. All and good. Hands on, and it'll be perfect event. It's it's gonna be the event of the year, I believe. All good stuff. We're gonna give you more information about that too in just a little bit. But first, let's get to what we're gonna be making and go over the ingredients we sure. need for this dish. So we have the corvina, which is actually a fish. It can be substituted for any white meat fish that you enjoy. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a trio of peppers. Once again, you can uh, play around with anything. We have jalapenos, we have ají limo, and a ají amarillo. These are uh, native uh, peppers from Peru. Right. A little bit of garlic, cilantro, and salt, and lime. Very simple, very fresh. And uh, that's, that's what's going to make our Chio Ceviche this, uh, this, this morning. And is this one of the favorite dishes that you like making at, at the restaurant itself? Uh, ceviche is the way to go, I will sound this. That's, uh, that's the way that's, to go. That's the main dish. Everything, everybody that loves, loves the restaurant, they really, truly enjoy our ceviche. Okay. And this is one of six ceviches that we have in our menu. Very good. All good stuff. We're going to put everything together in just a little bit. And we are going to be talking more about the Taste Trekkers event that's going to be happening here, right here in Rhode Island. All that information coming up, but back to you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Taste Trekkers has actually brought in Los Endes once again. Chef Sesson is here. And we are making uh, three different types of ceviche. Is that right? Correct. We're going to be doing a trio de ceviche. Mm -hmm. We're going to be showcasing the difference that a pepper makes in the ceviche. Okay. So we're going to start off first with a little bit of salt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get all the fish ready for you. And all you're going to do is add a little of that lime and mix it right in. Okay. So what we have here is the corvina. This fish is actually... Uh, like we were just talking a couple of minutes ago, it's very similar to a weak fish or a, or a sea trout. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be done with any other white meat fish that, that you may have at home. Okay. So after the salt, we're going to add a little bit of garlic. As you can see, it's a very simple components that we're throwing onto our ceviche. Yes. It's uh, pretty much a salt, garlic, uh, the cilantro, and of course the lime juice. Now mm -hmm. what we're going to do is we're going to add a little bit of the cilantro. And the thing about ceviche is you eat it just like this. Correct. There is no real cooking to it. Well, it, there's a couple styles of, 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 of ceviche that we have. I mean, what we do have is the, the Central American style ceviche and the South American style ceviche. Central, uh, Central, Central American ceviche is going to be where the fish is left overnight or for a couple of hours. In this type of ceviche, we actually almost, almost like a sashimi where the fish is pretty much raw. Um, what we do is we, we uh, towel uh, dry the fish right before to, uh, slicing it. Okay. So this way all the flavors absorb and penetrate right through it. Beautiful. All right, so now we're going to start off with the green one. Okay. You can put it right in the first mix by the bowl. How, how much? What is this here? This is actually a jalapeno puree. We just put it through the food process and that's a perfect amount. Okay. We're going to follow it with the yellow. We're going to try to do the same amount in the, in the, in the, in the corvina. Great. Right. And this one is? This is a ají amarillo. This can be substituted for a uh, habanero. Okay. Uh, once again, all these peppers are divine and de-seeded, so this miles down. And this is a ají limo. This is actually the jalapeno's cousin. It's just is this looks... the hottest one? Uh, the hottest... I feel like red always means hot. Yeah, I mean, fire, yellow. Okay, this one, but this they're one, all, they all get a kick? They, they all got a kick, but the, 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 the strongest one the will be one. the ají the, the amarillo, which okay. is the yellow pepper. Which is the yellow one. Yep. So I want to gonna... try it. Good luck. Good luck? <laughs> oh my god, huh? You must like spice. Well, we'll see in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes fine for now. All right. I may be needing some water in just a little bit. All right, we've got our ceviche started. Right. There's three different kinds. We're going to finish them up a little later in the show, guys. Taste Trekkers is the event. Chef Sesson's here from Los Andes Restaurant. Trio de Ceviche is what we are making, and we're talking about the Taste Trekkers event, Correct. which is a great event for anybody who, who really loves food and wine and just a great time in the city Definitely. of Providence. I mean, the goal that we want to do with this event is we want, we want people to walk out of this event uh, discovering a new place to dine mm -hmm. or a new, uh, a new experience in general, that they, they, a new cuisine they never explored right. yet. Because so many people get stuck in that rut. They go to the same restaurant mm -hmm. every week. They never The same out. dish. They don't even ask for the menu. Nope. 
I know what and, I want. And mm -hmm. one of those things too is, I mean, one of the great things about Providence is the diversity. Mm -hmm. We have so many restaurants sure. in Rhode oh Island, gosh. and that's this is a great way to expose all these places that sometimes, like you mentioned, you know, people just are stuck going to this one place. Once you go there, you meet the chefs, you meet the distributors, right. you meet the the brewers and whatnot. This way, you get to really feel and see the hard work that is behind the, all these connection. restaurants. Right. Correct. Definitely. Because restaurant business is not easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. You have to love it. Yeah. You have to love right. it, and that's 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 what it's all about. Is loving what you do. So. I mean, this is one of the things that we're going to be uh, presenting uh, at the uh, at the Taste Trekkers. Okay. Uh, on the 20th, we have a cocktail reception that's going to be held at the Dorrance. Mm -hmm. On the 21st, we have uh, Chef Matt Jennings, who's going to be talking uh, a little bit about uh, different cuisines from different regions. Award-winning chef, yep. too. He's, amazing. he's a great person to chat with. Amazing. Amazing. He's one of the best chefs in Rhode Island. He is the best chef in Rhode Island, I believe. Um, then we're going to have the, 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 the rest of the chefs and uh, uh, food vendors are going to be demonstrating their products. And uh, along with ourselves, we're going to be there showing and doing our ceviche. So it's, a, it's an event that you really don't want to miss out. So later on the, uh, in, that, in that same afternoon uh, at uh, the Marriott, you're going to have uh, Gail Camp, which is going to be discussing uh, a couple things in regards to, to the different cuisines. Sure. Uh -huh. uh, <clears throat> Later on that evening as well, you're going to be doing uh, the, the water fire. It's a great way to finish off. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. what a nice yeah, night. Sure. And Spend then, the whole night in and, then, and Sunday, the last day, it's actually going to be the food truck brunch. So this way, it's a great way to see uh, that, that, once again, this is an upcoming thing. A lot of yep. uh, food trucks that I'm pretty they sure you see over, all yeah. over the place. You're just going to feast for days. Right, yeah. I love Correct. it. And, I mean, that's what it's all about. I mean, for more information, for tickets, you can just go yep. to tastetrackers.com and uh, get any information you might need. Okay, good. So, Very to finish good. off great our event. ceviche here, we're going to do is, is it the red one is the spiciest one. You were right. Come on, Will. Okay. Oh, right. my God. I can't believe it. He this. said it was spicier than the yellow, which no. I found eh, not bad. Okay, there you go. All right. This one, this one will give you a little bit of a kick. This one will, yeah? Yeah, for sure. Right? Does it really? <laughs> really? Can uh, I try? Thank you. Can I try? Thank you so much. Yeah, help yourself. Yes, please go ahead. Okay, all right, let's give it a shot here. <laughs> go ahead. That's, no, that's, no, put a that's, little more in That's the Hilimo. You can do it. But that's one of the things, though, when you when you have these peppers and you complement them with the citrus from the lime, <laughs> <laughs> it kind of, you want a spoonful of lime? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. All right. So, wow. That's got a kick. Hang on. That's got a kick. <laughs> But if you guys are tempted to try it once again with the sure. lime and the ingredients, it's actually you're going to notice that it's a little bit mellowed. So this is the I way. I think I burned all of my taste buds <laughs> off. I'm all not right. sure I have a tongue anymore. <laughs> That's why it's usually good to get a good, a good beer chaser for, for this appetizer. <laughs> But in, ter in terms of, of having a kick, you said, of course, the red one is the hottest. Correct. Go down, what, red, yellow, then green? I mean, we always know a jalapeno <laughs> as being hot. Well, this is kind of like a street sign, you know? You have the red to tell yeah. you to stop, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. The, apparently, the, apparently, the, we missed that. The green, the green is a go, and the yellow slow down. You know what I mean? But it's yeah. that's like pretty well, much you how know they what go. They say right You see yellow, you speed up. You, you go just right speed up. Yeah, exactly. Don't worry about red. Don't wait for wet red. Just go right through. So this although we now have our hot, hot street cred, yeah. <laughs> if there is such a thing, well, no, but that's, hot. that's what it is. I mean, if, if, if you if you complement this with a great Sauvignon Blanc yeah. or a great mm -hmm. beer, I mean, yeah. you won't be running into the bathroom and, and you know <laughs> running your mouth through the yeah. faucet. I have to say, it's it's handleable though. You can yeah. tell once Correct. it hits that lime juice and you have the fish mm -hmm. and the other different ingredients in there. The presentation alone is really beautiful too. So you Definitely. can share this with someone. Of course, and each get a little and, taste. And this right here is actually concha. I almost forgot to talk about our friend concha. Yeah. This is a roasted corn. Okay. Uh, this actually uh, uh, adds a lot of uh, texture to mm. our ceviche. It looks like corn. Though. That's pretty much what it is. It's, uh, it's, a, nice, it's like a nice corn nut. Once again, it's imported from Peru. That's not spicy. Not spicy. And it takes away a little like bit of the spice. Easy. So, well, we hope that you all can make it to the Taste Trekkers uh, oh, on the 20th. It's going to be a wonderful really event. Good. Believe me, I know it's going to be the event of the year. If you love Sounds food. So I think that's a place for to be okay. for, for that weekend. We love food. We'll uh, give you a shot to that uh, red sauce over there and see who <laughs> can have drink. first. <laughs> this really is delicious, though. And if you want this recipe, you can find it for yourself on our website. It's the Roadshow page at WPRI.com.